Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about one more interesting topic that is Ocelot API Gateway with .NET Core 6.0. In my previous session, I show how to create a microservice architecture based application by segregating a monolithic architecture. So if you remember my previous session, and if you missed my previous session, I strongly recommend you to go through that session. I will give the link on video description and as well as the i button. Please check it out. So previously we have these two particular. This is the model and this is the main API e-commerce web app, which we have different functionality. Then we segregate this product and user to different service. A product service app and user service app then we went to controller there we are directly calling using a hard coded web api url so we are manually creating this web api application into a api gateway but there are some some different tool we can use and we can create a api gateway easily so today we are going to see Ocelot API Gateway. So before going to their Ocelot, let's see what is an API Gateway. An API Gateway is a software application between a client and a set of microservices. The API Gateway serves as a reverse proxy to accept API calls from the client application, forwarding this traffic to be appropriate service. API Gateway primary benefit is that it standardizes and centralizes the delivery of service through APIs or microservices. Beyond this, API Gateway also helps secure, organize, and organizational API based integration in a number of ways. So, all the clients will be interacting with API Gateway, and this API Gateway is interacting with different services and what is Ocelot API Gateway? The main functionality of Ocelot API Gateway is to take incoming HTTP requests and forward them to the downstream service and currently another HTTP service. So again guys, API Gateway is a component that sits in front of the API and inside the intranet or the firewall. Implementing API Gateway will help to make sure that every request from outside will go through it before reach to your API. So let's open Visual Studio and start making an Ocelot API Gateway. Before that, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. Let's get started. After completing this session, I will give this complete source code in the Google Drive and the link in the video description so you can download and check it out. So let's add one more blank application which is going to my main API gateway. So I am adding a new project which is ASP.NET Core empty project. You can see this one. Click on next. So I'm giving Ocelot demo. Click on next. I'm not keeping for now HTTPS. I'm keeping in 6.0 long term support. Click on create. So this will be my start of the application. So right click. So right click and set a start, pro start project, right? Now go to tools, manage new get package. So guys forgive about the background noise. So here you can type, go to browse and type Ocelot. In the Ocelot you can see the first option Ocelot is an API gateway. Install this the stable one 18.0. Accept it. 
as is some error with this with our service of let's fix this first so i have re-added this project reference data model in this both service of let's build the application so it should build my complete all five application here build succeed now this is i install in my oscillor demo right so if i run this now it will run only oscillor demo application close this part and go to solution explorer oscillor demo here you can see program.cs hello world so this hello world is coming here you can see right now the part we need to do need to add a oscillor.json file in our application right click on this application add new file so we'll add a json file and we are going to name it at oscillor.json which is added here in this path we are going to add the code route here we have downstream path template, downstream scheme, downstream host and port. So what is my downstream? So this is my user app. So if you go to the user app dependency, sorry, properties launch setting. So you can see my local host 5223. So this is I am getting from here. What is upstream? So I, if I am hitting this path user detail, it will hit this path actually from my user service app so like this i am going to add one more list so if somebody is going to hit our get product list then launch setting the port number is 5219 it will go to the 5219 product list so we have added our two microservices routes now let's go to the program.cs file of our oscillor demo before app builder.build we need to add builder.services.rjson file which is I am going to bring oscillor.json builder.services.r oscillor so we need to add a using statement here which is oscillor.dependency injection right next app dot map controllers then app dot use oscillor actually you need to add a using statement here which is using oscillor dot media layer and also we need to make it await right now run the application So you can see in our oscillot we are giving this user detail so let's type user detail it will come again 404 not found page in the agent working because i am not running my all the microservices so how to run this all the microservices right click on this and go to properties of the solution so in properties here i can see multiple startup so it will start oscillor demo product service and user service this this three, three application will start click on ok run the application so you can see this is my product service run 
and this is my user service got run and this one is my api gateway oscillate api gateway so if i am going to hit this oscillate api gateway with this so you can see this path it, it, it is running on our api gateway path 5085 but still it is getting our record so let's see for our product service so the route url is this one and the main url is 5219 port number get product list so so you can see internally it is hitting our services so in this way we can create an oscillot api gateway application for our microservices guys if you like my video give me a like and share this video with your friend thank you very much